Within this lesson, you will fluently multiply multi-digit whole numbers using the standard algorithm. 314 times 236. Round each factor to estimate the product. 314 is close to 300. 236 is close to 200. When I multiply those two numbers together, I get 6 ten thousandths. which I write as 60,000. So my estimate is 60,000. Let's see what the standard algorithm shows us. I start with the 6, which is the ones place. 6 times 4 is 24. 4, regroup a 2. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And 6 times 3 is 18. There's my first product, part of the partial products, that way I will add together, place a 0, 3 times 4 is 12, 2, regroup a 1, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, and 3 times 3 is 9. So I have my second partial product. My third partial product, I place two zeros because the 2 is worth 200, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. Then I carefully add those together. You'll notice my places are lined up. 4, 10, 0, regroup a 1. 9, 13, 21, 1, regroup a 2. 3, 12, 14, 4, regroup a 1. And that's 7. So 74,104 is my product. Is it close to 60,000? Yeah, it's close to 60,000. So this again here is my standard algorithm where I go step by step to figure out the partial products and then add it together to be able to get my product, the answer to a multiplication problem. Here's another problem. Let's go ahead and find an estimated product. 1,882 rounds to 2,000. 296 rounds to 300, so I can figure out my estimated product. Five zeros, and then 2 times 3 is 6, so my estimated product is 600,000. Let's use our standard algorithm to figure out our actual product. Start with 6 times 2, which is 12. 2, regroup a 1. 6 times 8 is 48, plus 1 is 49. 9, regroup a 4. 6 times 8, 48, plus 4 is 52. 2, regroup a 5. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 5 is 11. There's our first step for our partial product. Can you try for the next step? Write it out. With that 9, place a 0 first. 9 times 2 is 18. 8, regroup a 1. 9 times 8 is 72, plus 1 is 73. 3, regroup a 7. 9 times 8 is 72 again, plus 7 is 99. I'm sorry, 79. 9, regroup a 7. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 7 is 16. So there's that second step. And then we would have a third step as well. Working with this 2 here, that 2 is worth 200. So we place two zeros first. We place two zeros. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 8 is 16. 6, regroup a 1. 2 times 8 is 16 again, plus 1 is 17. 7, regroup a 1. And then 2 times... 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So I have those partial products where I have to add them together. 2, 7, 1, 3, 6, 10, 0, 1, 11, 17, 7, 
2, 8, 15, 5, 1, and 5. And I place my comma. 557,072, which is close to my estimated product of 600,000. Here I have one last problem, 4,902 times 408. What's our estimate? 4,902 is close to 5,000 times 400 equals five zeros. And then five times four is 20. Place some commas. My estimated product is 2 million. What's my actual product? Write it out. How many steps can you do? Eight times two is 16. Six, regroup a one. Eight times zero is zero. Plus 1 is 1. 8 times 9 is 72. 2, regroup is 7. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 7 is 39. So I have 4,902 times 8 does give us 39,216. Now there's a 0 here, in which case I don't have to do anything. It's just a placeholder. There is a 4 over here that's worth 400. That's why I place two zeros within my product here. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 9 is 36, 6, regroup of 3, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19. And then I carefully add them together. 6, 1, 0, regroup of 1, 0, regroup of 1, 0 again, regroup of 1. 1 and 9 is 10, 0, regroup of 1, and 1 and 1 is 2. Place my commas. And I have the actual product equaling 2,016. Which is close to our estimate of 2 million.